Bitter cold rolled in fast and had most of the birds heading south despite the pandemic's border closures. Huh, imagine that. With Alberta's Minister of Environment, Jason Nixon, scheduled to hunt with us along with Outdoor Quest TV's TJ Swanky and Vanessa Harrop, along to film a show about a show, the pressure was on for Jason and I to put two great days together under some harsh conditions. It was bittersweet though. The mallards ate us up, but it was cold. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Here we are, um, back hunting again. We have uh, Jason Modine, super guide, and uh, TJ Schwanke from the Outdoor Quest TV, and he's back. Uh, and you were here with us two weeks ago. A lot warmer when I was here A two weeks ago. A lot warmer, and then, you know, you were here spotting yesterday, Jay. It was uh, Thursday, I believe today's Friday. It was a pretty nice day. Yeah. And of course, now we get the snow rolled in. It's going down to minus 12 or 15 with a wind chill of, what did you say, minus? Minus 21. So, I mean, it'd be, yeah, it's, it won't be fun in no. the morning. You know, last night, Jay and I came back. We were at the camp. I got here late, and Jay goes, man, I wish we were hunting tomorrow, because he had them pinned, right? Like, he had all four hunts that we were watching were stable, and then today, by 3 o'clock, well, I'll let you parlay the story. So, yeah, no, it's just hard to pattern them, and like I told you, I said it's going to be the last 30 minutes where yep. I'm be putting something to bed, and I was bouncing around to all those hunts, and... Then there's other hunts and they moved and that one's gone and then there's a new one and do I chase that one and it was ah so yeah no the last 30 minutes you just put them to bed and, and it, make, should, it should be good. No, make it, a decision it's, right? It's, yeah that's right you know, yeah. you know educated decision and uh, yeah go best foot forward the, 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 the most consistent hunt I guess you could say mm -hmm. you know and, and the one that we're going on tomorrow they're in there all day yesterday, all day today. They left a little early tonight. That's why I hit the panic button a little bit. They fed all and, day. But though. that's the other thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, but it's hunting. Good morning. It's uh, it's a frosty one this morning. Um, we have uh, a couple special guests. I know Jason and I. We work together all the time. But we have TJ and Vanessa from the Outdoor Quest, and Vanessa's busy stabbing decoys in the ground. Uh, and then we have the Minister of Environment for Alberta. Jason Nixon with us, so it's kind of kind of cool having a guy of your stature, literally. Pretty big uh, stature. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hunting with us this morning, and uh, welcome. And I mean, uh, you know, I know you don't do a lot of waterfowl hunting, so we hope to put on a great show for you. And uh, Jason was watching this one yesterday. We had snow specks and ducks, and we hope that they didn't all fly away during the... It's, it's, it's minus 11 right now, and it's uh, wind northwest chill. wind, bluebird, and... I'm not making excuses, TJ. But <laughs> hey, a good guy always does, buddy. <laughs> hey, you know. Actually, we can hear them yeah. on one of the roosts. So those ones stayed. They didn't migrate. Good. But uh, yeah, no, it's just going to be a great late season hunt and lots of birds and looking forward to it. We're not using the layout blinds today because if we do, they'd be a totally different color. So we're going to lay in the, in the goose chairs with white suits. We're going to run the long leg on the one side. The roosts are back towards the east. So, I mean, we got a short leg here, so we'll let the birds approach. And the long, the reason we go so long is the theory is, is the further back those snow geese see white decoys, they'll start to spill air at the back. Okay. So we'll go as far as 200 yards back, and then we'll put a little um, point on the end, and that just, it, it simulates a feed band, and, and the birds got to either hop right. over that or they'll fall roll into the them, hole. Boys. Hopefully roll we'll be shooting them, them right them. there at about 15 or 18 yards. So. Okay, cool. Are you ready? Special bellies. Don't move, don't move, don't move. They gotta finish, they gotta finish. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Roll them, boys, roll them, roll them. Finish, they gotta finish. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Roll them, boys, roll them, roll them. Two on the left, two in the hole. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go on we're gonna go on these two in the middle of the hole. Just be patient. 
Be patient, be patient. Okay, guys, kill these two. Kill those two right there. You know, we try to get equal opportunity close birds, right? Of course. They like it. They like it. Be ready, be ready. Hold tight. Just keep your eye on them. Go, guys. Go, go, go. You can kill those. Three coming in real low. Hold tight. Let's get them in tight. Get ready. We're going to kill these three right here. Drill them, boys. They're speckle belly. Shoot them. There you go. Drill them, boys. They're speckle belly. Shoot them. Roll them boys, roll them, roll them. Load quick, load quick. Where's Jay? I gotta Let's see where he is. I wanna cover up his chair. Oh, oh, oh. oh god. Austin, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. There, there we go. Is. Right, right again. Where'd that one sneak in from, hey? <laughs> I like it. Nice shot. Who got that one? I banged him and then Tiki got him. Nice. Oh, left side Mallard. Oh. Jay, we were worried about you. We didn't know if you had a heart attack. Right in front. Right in front. Shoot it, guys. Shoot, shoot it. it. Kill the duck. Kill the duck. Kill the duck. Kill the duck, kill the duck, kill the duck. That's the sun. Here we go. Something's gonna present itself. Oh, look at this. Get ready, get ready. Get ready. Go, 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 go. Hit him again, hit him again. I'm out. Go, 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 go. Nice shot. This is there he comes now. Watch your head. Watch your head. Oh, that's nice. Heavy hammer. Oh, yeah. Rule number one load your gun. Oh, I'm such a dummy. Ooh. Austin, go kill him, go, Austin. Go, go ahead, Austin. Shoot him, guys. He's still alive. He's gonna come around. Oh, he's what? Yeah. Oh, come on. There he goes. He's sick. He's sick. Oh yeah, he's sick and great. Right. I'll go get him right now. I'll go get him. I'll run grab him real quick. You reload it Keep that decoy in your face. She's a frosty one. <laughs> he almost got away on me. Man, if, if we had the snow and the overcast like yesterday, yeah. This would have been a 150 bird hunt this morning. Yeah. Time it. Watch your head, watch your head. Whoa. That one almost killed you. Austin? That makes for good TV right there. So what we're shooting here is, is called heavy hammer. It's okay. got 15% bismuth, oh, really? which is heavier than lead, right? Yeah. Coming out of there at the speed of steel. That's so great. that's why these birds are just huh. yeah. dead. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. That is cool. Everybody? Yeah. Austin, hey, get go, ready. Drill him, drill him. Hit him again. Oh, 
Here we go, left side, left side, left side. Hard left. <laughs> Go, 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 go. All right. Sun. sun sucks. That sun, Nate, when you called oh, it, yeah. they were right in the sun. Yeah. I went, ah! Oh, shoot, oh, shoot him, shoot him. Shoot him. And a boy. Where'd he come from? I don't know. <laughs> Go, go, go. On the left. Oh, we, we doubled up on that one. Yeah, they are. Oh, perfect, perfect. Go. Oh, are you I biffed. Get him in front. Go, 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 go. Pintail. Those are all pintail drakes. drakes. Yeah. I'm gonna run and get that far one, Jay. There's not much around. I'm gonna go. He's only 100 yards out. I got a good line on him. I don't want to forget about him. I'll be right back. Those are nice pintail drakes. Oh, yeah. So amazing to have them this late here. Fully plumed, eh? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, too bad we didn't get them all. We should have. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> well, they're low now. They won't be in the sun. Nice. Get them right in tight. I'm gonna shoot them all. Shoot your zones, boys. Closer, closer, closer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> that was a good round. All right, well, that's a wrap. Uh, I don't have the final tally yet, but we do have we do have our 48 ducks, which is nice. And I don't know where we're at with specs, nowhere near a limit, probably half. I'd say maybe 12 or 15, and I don't know how many snows, quite a bunch. So we'll, uh, we'll update you on that, but it worked, you know. It was good, the, the spread worked, and I know Jason was nervous about, you know, the hunt and, and whether or not the birds would be back. and. And uh, we knew the ducks would come late, and it was hard and fast for a little while there, and it was good, though. It was a great time, and I think everyone had fun. The shooting was was okay, you know. I mean, we all struggled a little bit on a cold morning like this, and um, ended up with probably, I don't know, 70 birds and, well, or 80 maybe. I don't know. We'll tally it up, and we'll do pictures. So time to pack up and head back for the warm chicken chili, I think, today. Should be good. Probably the coldest hunt I've ever been on, and I've been doing this for a long, long time. And I know Jay was a little bit stressed out when it was it was this cold. And we're going, man, are they going to come back? Are they going to leave? Is it going to freeze? And I know Jay had a big smile on his face at about 46 ducks. Oh, yeah, they, oh, thinking now he's happy. And uh, you know, I'd like to thank you know Minister Nixon and Austin for coming, TJ and Vanessa from the Outdoor Quest TV, and Jay for spotting it. And I just kind of hang out today and shot some stuff. It was good. <laughs> no, it was awesome. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yes, my you. pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Lisa's back at the lodge with a lunch for us. And then we, Jay and I, need to get out the spot. If we're going to hunt tomorrow morning, we got to go sort through the mess of migrating birds and if there are any still around. And so we better get back. We throw these in there and go eat some lunch and get back on the road. Cool. Well, good. Thanks, man. Thank cool. You. My pleasure. It was great. Thanks again, guys. Yeah, short leg. Roost is right here. Okay. Get right wind. They're going to come perfect across. They'll curl right here and right in. No, correct. Ready? That's perfect. Go! Oh. Because there's no snow geese here, we got white on the ground. We're going to use the white decoys to hide us in the white suits, the dark decoys and the ducks and the robos, and we're going to put clones out to help with the specs. And then uh, the white Scylla socks are there just to get us to disappear. Ready? Ready? Go, 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 go. <laughs> that was a mess. <laughs> that was messy. That was cool. That was beautiful. <laughs> so we're putting some duck decoys 
just 18 to 20 yards into the hole. And kind of like what we do with our pothole shoots, we'll put a pot on the left and a pot on the right. And then we'll, we'll kind of put the robo, the, the spinning wing decoys in the middle. In this case, we're using Lucky Ducks today. And then we got some clones and some full bodies at about 16 yards. Sometimes it might seem like it's too close, but it's the art of finishing the birds and getting that real close up look where you can see their orange feet. And, and it, it's just really cool. So that's the way we're laying it out today. Uh, should be good. He got tangled in the decoy. <laughs> okay, hopefully this time, on the left. The nice thing about inertia-driven guns is when it is cold like this, you know, you're not relying on, on gas ports and compression levels to, to get these guns to fire. So we'll pull four Super Black Eagles out of the cases and get them ready to rumble. Get in, get in. Go, 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 go. go, go. go. That wasn't even fair. No. I thought they might float back up and come closer. The wind just switched a little bit on us, and now it seems like it switched back. So we just pulled some of the, just a small leg that we had just downwind of Vanessa and, and to her left, got rid of that, and we just kind of built a little bit more bulk to our right side to pull the birds kind of more. I mean, it's not like we wouldn't be able to shoot them, but to try and make it fair for everybody, especially the guys on the far right, we want to pull the birds a little bit over. So just small adjustment, move the robo ducks over and it just shifts their flight path and we just get them to target and decoy a slightly different spot. So make adjustments all the time. And if you don't, the birds will do the same thing every time. And instead of wishing and praying that they're gonna actually decoy, just make the adjustments and you can move the birds around, you know, into where you want them to be. And you know, the ones that have decoy will Oops. react the same way. The ones that don't don't want to do it for you, well, that's just the way it is anyways. You can't decoy them all. Go. Ready? Go, 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 go. Let's rack them up. That We're gonna a... be home early this morning, boys. <laughs> we might not shoot any geese, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> you better wake yeah. Lisa up. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Honey, we're coming home for breakfast. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ooh. Hang on. I don't think I am. Hang on. Oh, I am. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Is everybody ready? Yep. Okay, wait for that big, big flight, Jay. Watch the big group. Watch the big group low at the back. Yeah, They're gonna the finish left, perfect. Left. left side. Watch this. Isn't that pretty, boys? Wow. Well, we might have to clear the air. Watch these five. Ready? Ready? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Let's clear the air clutter. Yeah, you got to get rid of the air clutter sometimes. The clutter dome. Well, this is kind of cool because, I mean, these birds must have had a cold, hungry night because rarely will we kill them when it's this cold before about 10 or 10.30. So they're, they're on the move early. So, And I don't know that we're even going to wait around shooting any geese, it's cold. These guys have to get back, get their, back to their family. So as soon as we, we got about, I don't know, 16 ducks to go. I think we'll wrap it up and head in for breakfast. Be nice. You guys ready? We're ready. Let them cross, let's get over, get over. Ready, ready, go, go, go. Out a boy. <laughs> that was something else. It's because you're calming down a little bit. Yeah, exactly. That was pretty cool. Get them just perfect, Jay. And wait for a flock with lots of drakes in it. Oh, man. Wow, how the hell do you want me to do that? I want you to be picky. <laughs> <laughs> this this round, these ducks are going to finish. Ready, 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 ready. 
Ready, ready, go! This round, these ducks are gonna okay, finish. Ready, 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 go! Of course, just when you think you have all these birds figured out, and I really thought these ducks would roll in at about 10:30 again. And typically, when it's cold like this, they'll move when you know during the hottest part of the day. Yeah, they did. They decided to make me look like a fool and we were all done by about nine o'clock you know but which is good I'm not complaining so I called Lisa back at the lodge she's gonna fire up the fireplace and throw some uh, brunch in the oven and be nice to get back it was uh although it's nice to hunt in the cold it's not so nice to hunt in the cold this time of year when the ducks do it they just they do it and unlike the early season when they're coming in those little family groups 2 10 15 I mean you're talking two three hundred just pouring into the decoys, you know, feet hanging. And we had one, I had one drake literally three or four yards in front of me, got tangled up in one of the Scylla socks, tried to get up and I could see his wings getting tangled up and he finally had to walk out to fly away. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool to see that stuff. Right on. All right, time to pack up. As cold as it was, it worked, you know, and uh, this, you know, when it's this cold, this could be the last hunt of the season for us, you never know. And mm -hmm. Jay and I will go spotting again tonight. And we're supposed to hunt with some uh, some of the local guys if, if we can put something together. If not, well, I don't know, sit by the fire and have yeah. some cocktails and wrap it up. But yeah. hopefully there'll be some birds around. And I want to thank uh, Minister Nixon for coming. And I hope you had fun in Austin. And TJ and Vanessa, you know, it was uh, just another great day at the office for us. But it was fun, you know. And, you know, everything worked well again. The, the silos that we put out worked, the clones, the shotguns, the heavy hammer, it was just all around good. And, and I, I, I don't know, I've, like I said, I say this all the time, I've done this a long time, but the way those ducks did it today, it doesn't get old. Mm -hmm. It's spectacular. Pretty, 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 pretty amazing. Ready, ready, go.